there is a sacred bond that is created the moment a child is conceived between the mother and the child. And what happens is the energies of both open wide up. They open completely. And there's a reason is so that they can communicate so that the baby is feeling everything in their mother's universe, every single thing, every word that's spoken, every place that the mother goes, every experience that she has, that baby is feeling it. If there's a, a heated discussion, that baby knows, that baby understands. Excuse me. <clears throat> and so because that happens. And then on the mother's side, it's a completely open connection so that the mother knows what the baby needs as well. Okay. So here's the really cool part. We know what our bodies need. We just second guess it because we've read books that told us, well, this is how you do it. And then, you know, your mother-in-law or your grandmother or your mother said, oh, but this is how I did it. This is how I did it. This is how I did it. I mean, just look at what um, you know, pregnant mothers crave, right? Everyone has cravings and no one's cravings are the same. I mean, they mm -hmm. may be somewhere, but your cravings are yours and they're based on your story. And at the end of the day, it's understanding that this connection is the foundation for that child's whole life. And most people don't give that the honor it deserves. They're like, oh, the baby's not here yet. We can still say whatever we want. We can still do whatever we want. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm I'm <laughs> I'm here to disagree with that, <laughs> you know. And at the end of the day, what they're saying is this is the most this is the foundation of that child's self worth as a human being in the world. So if you think back to your self worth. This is the coolest part, right? You think back it's to massive. yours, right? It, you think back yeah. to yours. It was like the moment you were conceived is when your self-worth started developing. And, and I studied self-worth for almost 15 years now. So um, it's, you know, and I've done dove deep into that and it is mm -hmm. fascinating. But this, this dynamic of a connection at birth or at conception. Yeah. And all through gestation, it continues to grow. So, you know, so many people are like, oh, it's just hormones. That's why they're so emotional. No, it's because they're meant to feel everything. Why? Why? Internally, so that they can feel the baby, what the baby needs. They can also feel what their body needs in order to create, literally create a human being. Like your body is doing all of this work to not only create the human being, but then to support its life. Mm 